Hello friends, Marcy here, and I have been waiting um, for the opportunity to share this new pen with you. Um, it actually came in about a week and a half ago, but the day it arrived, I've, I'd had this um, outpatient um, medical procedure and I just wasn't filling up to anything. And then life since then has been crazy, uh, preparing taxes and uh, visiting uh, my granddaughter's college that she signed to next year with my granddaughter and daughter-in-law over the past weekend. That was a lot of fun and a busy work week. And today is my 40th wedding anniversary. So we'll be getting ready to go out on our dinner date soon and um, exciting day. So another exciting part is to share Estabrook. I was so excited to receive this. Um, it happened, uh, I received, an ounce, uh, I received an email from Esther Brooks, I'm on their list, uh, about this new pen when it came out, and oh my goodness, it is green and like an ivory cream color swirl. It is um, called Palm Green. This is the Esther Brooks Jr. I like uh, the finial being like an off-white ivory um, plastic with the Estabrook symbol insignia there on the cap. Nice, nice, nice. Kind of an easy clip. And in the gold band, I'm trying to get focus. I'm so sorry. There we go. Estabrook's name. So... Just a gold flat finial on the bottom and another gold band. Those gold accents really look very, very good with this green. And that swirl pattern is gorgeous. So I'm gonna unscrew. There's one turn of the cap. Two, oh my. Okay, just over two, about two and a quarter uh, turns to release the cap. Two, reveal that gorgeous nib and this is a fine fine nib so you see I have green ink on my hands I've been playing around with um, trying to consider what kind of ink I would like to use in this today um, so here we have let me move some of this stuff out of the way oh and before I move the box just let me say it does come with the converter and a cartridge there that looks like black ink. Now back to the pen. So our glass, looks like glass, maybe plastic. It does have on the band here, it does have Esther Brooks name around here. And it is twist. Let's see if it's threaded. Okay, nope. Just uh, push in converter in here. All right, I do want to look at, I really like this size. Um, I do want to look at the other full size Estabrook that I have, the Estabrook Esty just for price com uh, size comparison, if you can see the size here. Let me move my other pens here and show you where I can lay them with the clip up. So the Estabrook Junior, the Estabrook Esty, and the Estabrook Camden. It looks like the Camden's the largest, longest of the three. We'll just include our little ruler here so five and three quarter inches about five and a half I oh know five and three quarter on the SD and only just about five on the junior so for size comparisons there and I do want to compare this um, junior to a Pelican because when I saw the size um, I thought I would 
enjoy it very much because it reminded me of the Pelagon. And this one is the white tortoise, the white um, with tortoise shell. And you see the colors are very similar, gorgeous. I want to get a little closer here so you can see that up close. And I'd like to do a weight comparison for you. So one of the favorite things that I uh, really enjoy about the Pelican, aside from the weight, I love the weight and size in my hand, is the amount of turns to remove the cap. So it is, let me try that again. Yeah, just about a half turn to remove the cap. I love that. Um, that and the smooth writing nibs. And I have, I've, I've been able to get the nib in um, a variety of sizes, uh, broad, medium, fine, and extra fine, to experience all of them, and they're all wonderful. So um, let's move this aside a bit and look at some weight comparisons with these two pens of similar size. And... So first of all, the Pel Pelican, and this is a piston fill, and it does have ink in it. Um, it has the Robert Ulster um, Muddy Bucket, which is an excellent choice um, for my matchy-matchiness. And we have 15.73 grams on that one. So the Esterbrook Jr., 18.6. So very similar in size. Now I'm wondering where the size difference is. 10 on the body, five and a half on the cap. I think the weight on this um, Esterbrook is in the cap. No, 12 and a half on the body. And six on the cap so it's uh, distributed um, more weight uh, on both parts of the pen so that answers my curiosity question all right so I've been into um, green inks and green pens lately um, the most recent purchase aside from the Esterbrook was the Koiko student in the 60s swing I've really been enjoying that pen lately um, and then prior to that was uh, this is a Sailor uh, Manyo uh, Shikiori series and it's gorgeous gorgeous green so loving the green um, pens and inks lately and we'll um, ink up and do a little bit of writing comparisons um, I think at this point I would like to show you some of the other green pens that I've been enjoying um, these are not uh, the most recent purchases. This is like almost a year ago. And this was from uh, December. This is Mayora um, in Mediterranean. And it currently has a green ink in it from the ink vent. This is the Appletini. Um, that's what's inked in here now. Um, but I would like to soon ink the Ferris Wheel Press Central Park which was a sample from my ink vent um, April box. So looking forward to that. So going green and it's not even March. So in the 60s, I have the Monteverdi Olivine, the 60s swing. And of course, In the Sailor Shikiori, I have the ink that I purchased for it. It's a green ink, the Sailor Shikiori ink. Let's get to inking our new pen and see what we have here. Okay, I did go and flush um, this new nib uh, under the water in the sink um, before inking and still trying to decide which ink I was going to use. The, the Pelican Edelstein Olivine is a full bottle. I really think the Monteverde 
olivine would match it better um, but it's currently inked in another pen and so I want to wait to try that out um, how many other greens are just too bright or uh, they sheen uh, way off way off color I don't know um, anyway so looking through my swatches on the coloring and then some in my book I think I'm going to go with the new Lourish is Chivago, which is, I do not have a full bottle of that. I only have a sample bottle from uh, True Fae in their monthly subscription. And I'm going to try that. I think it'll be a good fit for today. So I do want to ink, uh, drop through the nib so that my pen will be ready to write. Looks like it'll fit very well in here. Oops, I always forget to put my piston down. I think I say that in every video, right? So, here we go. Well, nice uh, full fill on the first try. And I honestly don't even care if I actually get a full fill because I know I like to use up my inks and write them out and experience something new on a fairly when I have so many ink choices you know experience it write it out and get ready for the new experience so here we go I am ready to write I think while I have you with me I'll just um, write out some of the green inks that I currently have inked on. Oh, I like this. Um, it's a very, very dark and wet ink. Pretty wet for fine nib. You can hear the feedback here on this and it looks like my horizontal lines are less wet um, they've dried quickly and are not as dark on yeah not as dark on the paper so this is the Esterbrook Junior uh, in palm green and it is a uh, hand turned acrylic I don't know if I said that earlier and um, let me go ahead and write that hand turned acrylic resin um, in green and cream with gold accents and a fine nib. So our ink is Noodler's. Oh, look at how I spell that before I spell it. It is a ZH. Zhivago. Nice. So that's a nice uh, color choice for the ink in this pen today. So I am enjoying um, the feel, the size, and the weight of this pen so far. Um, let's just write out Sailor uh, Shikiori. And it is, um, forget the full name because it's a long one, something Manyo. And this one. Okay, yeah, it says it's the medium fine, I forget. But it, it is a very fine uh, Japanese nib. Ooh, I'm going so fast, my lines are all crooked like chicken scratch. All right, just experiencing greens today. Oops, I'm not holding a Twisby. I'm holding a Koeko. I don't have a Twisby green. 
Can you believe that? I do not have a um, green Twisby pin, but I have so many uh, clear converters that I can just add green ink to any one. And this one is a fine nib. And it is inked with Monteverdi Olivine, which is an excellent um, ink choice for this pen. I've been enjoying it a lot. All right. Oh, I'm just doing some quick sloppy writing today. All right. Uh, Mayora. This is the Mediterranean. Oops. Two. And this one is also a fine nib. Um, and it's inked with the Diamine Ink Vent. Uh, Apple Teeny. You know what? That doesn't really look right to me. I'm going to have to double check that. Ink. And this one, the Estabrook Estes, the Monte Verde California Teal, I believe. No. This is the Maui. And a medium nib. I have to look at that. This is not um, the Monte Verde California Teal. This is the Compecky. Which this pen, all the colors on this gorgeous um, body of a pen could use blues or greens or anything um, reds with uh, a matchy matchy style excellent excellent so so we've had fun writing with some gorgeous pens gorgeous ink colors I still see I haven't shown you this isn't really a green but I'm picking up on the green accents coming through so this is the pelican using the green ink um, M400 and a broad nib and the Robert Oster or Oster um, Muddy Bucket is a beautiful shading ink um, that's perfect for a broad nib you can really see all the characteristics um, of this gorgeous ink with this pen so lovely, 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 smooth, smooth writer. I love this nib. All right, having some green fun today. I thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.